Top of the broadcast, we were discussing uh, the terrible police assassinations. I think it's domestic terrorism. And whether the Republican Party is going to make that, that issue, killing police officers, a campaign issue. Will you do that? Of course. It's a big issue. It's a horrible issue, and it's going to be a very important one. It's called law and order. We want law and order. And that's going to be one of my big issues and always has been. What about the Black Lives Matter movement? Will they be singled out as a provocateur in this terrible situation? Well, you see them marching and you see them on occasion, at least. I've seen where they're essentially calling death to the police. And that's not acceptable. Whether you like them or don't like them, that bill is not acceptable. But I've seen it and you've seen it. When you say it's not acceptable, if you are elected president, what can you do about a group like that? Well, I think you have to look into it very seriously because people get themselves into big jams for saying a lot less than that. I mean, I've seen them marching down the street, essentially calling death to the police. And I think we're going to have to look into that, especially in light of what's happening with these maniacs going and shooting our police. When you say look into it, there's a constitutional right, of course, to freedom of assembly and free speech. Uh, are you saying that you would order the attorney general to look into it for possible charges? When you see something like that taking place, that's really a threat if you think about it. And when you see something like that taking place, we are going to have to perhaps talk with the attorney general about it or do something. But at a minimum, we're going to have to be watching because that's really bad stuff. And it's happened more than once. Do you believe the group Black Lives Matter is a fuse lighter in the assassinations of these police officers? Well, certainly in certain instances they are, and they certainly have ignited uh, people, uh, and you see that. You see that all over, and I think it's, uh, it's a very, very serious situation, and we just can't let it happen. Now, everybody's free to say what you want to see, say up to, a, up to a point, but when you're calling death to police and to kill the police, essentially, which is what they said, uh, that's a real problem, Bill. That's a real big problem. You know by saying that, that the press that doesn't like you, the far left uh, media, will now start to say that you're a racist again. You know that that's what's going to happen. Well, I'm probably the least racist person there is, and I'm doing very well. African community, the African American community, I'm going to bring jobs back to the country, and nobody can bring them back, and you understand that, but nobody can bring them back like I bring them back. Our jobs have been stripped, and whether you're talking about African American, whether you're talking about Hispanic, whether you're talking about Asian, whether you're talking about anybody in this country, we're going to bring jobs back. And, you know, a big problem that we have, you take a look at the African American youth. They have a 48 percent and even more than that unemployment rate. It's yeah, we talked about this before. Most of that is education driven. 